Welcome back to more Fire Emblem Radiant Ladies. Well, we got the Spirit Dust first try. I did take care of everything else though, so that's good. And the uh, the partner, the partners, they lived. Like actually first try. I just unequipped the Iron Great Lance and just went for him. Khalil has been like Neff. Disappointing me by only getting one stat. Dog of Crimea, I'll crush you! No, you won't. It's Marcia. If you like what you're seeing, make sure to subscribe to the channel and follow the Twitch page as well. And be notified on Twitch as well, so because not even I know when I'll be going live next. And, um, yeah, and hit the notification bell here on YouTube so you don't miss a single upload. But down out of the way, Ashton's been getting some strength for me, which is awesome. I'm glad she's finally getting the strength when she's uh, a silver knight. Marcia still doesn't have a javelin, so... That's what's going on, but... At least Khalil gets a... Get some attention... In this chapter. Because Marcia and... Uh, Astrid are already promoted. Magic speed defense. That's what I've been after this whole time. I've been up to speed for Khalil. The Empire will not forget this. Once our main forces arrive, they will slaughter you like cattle. Good. The enemy is retreating. Knights, stay here and help to fix the damage done to this village. Good work, Joffrey. You sent them running. Lucia, what are you doing here? I'm here to protect Your Majesty. Superb work, Joffrey. You have my thanks. Your Majesty, forgive me. I could not have avoid a confrontation with the Imperial Army. It wasn't your fault, Joffrey. However, I'm afraid our situation continues to deteriorate. Lucia, I appoint you as envoy to negotiate a treaty with the commander of the Imperial Army. They might be willing to listen now. I shall leave immediately, Your Majesty. Very short chapter, 310, uh, 39 was. <sighs> Senator Valterme, I sincerely regret having to meet under these circumstances. Oh, I completely agree, Your Majesty. I never dreamed we'd suffer so much mistreatment from our allies. So you've decided that Crimea will side with Gallia and honor the alliance with those filthy subhumans over ours? As I've said before, Crimea remains neutral. Crimea will neither side with Benyon nor the Lagu's alliance. That is my final answer. Ah, uh, then please enlighten me. Why prevent us from getting what we needed? Benyon is your suzerain. You should be delighted to comply with our request for supplies. But instead, you launch an ambush and inflict horrible pain on us, your loving guardians. Now, Benyon is a patient parent, but I do hope you realize that your actions thus far have amounted to treason and sedition. You have violated our borders, stolen from my people, and inflict harm upon them. I will not allow such actions within my lands, no matter who the aggressor may be. How quaint. <laughs> your Majesty. Do you know what the penalties are for the crimes you've committed? I can only assure you, I, I can only assume you do not, or you would not so rashly endanger your life. But don't worry, Queen Alicia. Once Benyon has your crown, along with your head, removed for treason, I'm sure we will take very good care of your people. Senator Valtome! I think after the dust has settled, I'll place my portrait right over your throne. Hmm. It was a pleasure chatting with your majesty. I am leaving now. She's all yours, general. Your majesty, please forgive my superior officer's insolence. Wait, 
I recognize you. You came to our aid some time ago during the Mad King's War. General Zelgius, wasn't it? Yes, Your Majesty. This is the second time I've had the honor of seeing you. I sincerely apologize for my army's actions during the resupply operation. Please forgive us. The Banyan Empire and the Apostle gave us much support in our reconstruction effort. Crimea will always appreciate Banyan's generosity. However, Crimea and Gallia are allies. As such, we cannot take a side in this quarrel. Please understand. I understand, Your Majesty. Our forces will refrain from levying supplies while in Crimea. Oh? Thank you for your understanding. However, I must ask you to agree on these two points. First, the Imperial Army shall be given leave to pass through Crimea toward Gallia. Second, we shall be allowed to engage the Gallian Army in towns near the Crimea-Gallia border. Excuse me? This peace talk is meaningless. You will still do battle and spill blood within our borders. I'm afraid this is the best I can offer. It's sometimes necessary to cut your losses for the greater good. Please think on it. Tomorrow my army will begin marching toward Gallia. If the Crimean army does not interfere, I will take it as a sign of agreement. Farewell, Your Majesty. General Zelgius, please wait! Does the Apostle know anything about this war with the Lagoos? It's just very hard for me to believe. Is this war truly the will of the Apostle? That is not for me to answer, Your Majesty. Then at least tell me this. Is the Apostle safe? Excuse me. I must go. General... Houses Defended pays a hefty price. I love it. Right, 310. Easy, right? Well, it might be the same as 3-7. Um, After Alencia's meeting with Valtome, the Crimean Royal Knights returned to the capital of Melbourne leaving the border villages between Crimea and Gallia completely undefended. The Benyan Central Army crosses the border once more, but Crimea makes no move to march against it. Valtome sees this inaction as a sign of Crimea's capitulation to Benyan's demands. The Benyan forces occupy the Crimean castles and forts on the border with Gallia and prepare to launch their attack. The Lagoos Alliance finally makes its way back to Gallia, but word of Benyan's approach allows them no time for rest. The news that Gallia's ally, Crimea, has allowed Benyan to travel through its lands comes as a great blow to the Lagoos Alliance. Yes, 3-7, where Edward and Leonardo were given weapons when I had completely disarmed them. So I wonder if, um, you know, Jeffrey, Donved, Makalov, and Kieran will all get weapons. According to our scouts, the enemy is split into two forces. One is east of the Earth Mountains. The other is approaching from the north by crossing through Crimea. So they plan on flanking Gallia from the north and east. If we don't stop them, this is gonna hurt. Agreed. What is the Crimean army doing? From what the scouts have said, nothing at all. I'm guessing they're waiting to see how everything pans out. Crimea let Benyon pass without a fight? What about their alliance with Gallia? It's not that simple, Scrimere. Benyon is Crimea's suzerain state. It's difficult for Crimea to refuse Benyon's demands. Uh, Suza, what? Someone explain to me what that means. Hmm. How can I explain? Alright, how's this? I'm sorry. Benyon still holds political power of a country that won independence from them. Anything you want to add, Ike? Don't look at me. I always thought the whole idea was ridiculous. Never mind what it means. Has Crimea broken its treaty with us? Not as such. I didn't say it was right, just that it was complicated. It's not complicated at all! Crimea has betrayed Gallia! We cannot let this pass! How dare! Control yourself, Skrimir! 
You're acting like a fool. My apologies, your majesty. It is just... I doubt that Crimea has sided with Benyon. Queen Alencia is very clever. Now, I will not stop trusting her judgment just yet. She most likely allowed the Imperial Army to pass through her land in order to avoid a slaughter. Who is this Bjork Queen who warrants so much trust? Please enlighten us. She is a delightful woman, both in matter and in reign. Her late father, King Ramon, and I forged an alliance be between Bjork and Laguz. We sought to bring our peoples closer. She has taken her father's ideals as her own and strives to create a country where anyone, Bjork or Laguz, can live rent free. Uh, can f rent free? Oh, what have I said? What have I just said? Live free and in peace. How times have changed. I never could have dreamed of a time where. S such a Bjork ruler would exist. I must admit, I still have doubts. I don't blame you, my brother. Change has been slow, but the circle of acceptance in Tellius has been widening. As you can see, both Leanne and I have many Bjork friends. Queen Alencia of Crimea is one of them. Both the king and Rayson speak well of this woman. Is she truly so special? She truly is, but right now that's beside the point. The most important thing is, Valencia will never betray her allies in Gallia. I couldn't agree more. We can trust her. Alright, let's assume for now that Crimea will not aid the Empire in any military fashion during this conflict. Hawk King, let us hear your thoughts. Well, if Crimea won't make a move, then I see no reason to wait until the Empire reaches Gallia. I'd prefer to take an army up north and end this mess for good. Very well. Do the Grail mercenaries have anything to add? I agree with Tabarne's idea. We should strike while their army is split in half. I'm pretty sure that General Zelgius will be there, though. We'd better be careful. Very well, Hawk King. May I ask that your forces protect the eastern border? While they do that, I would like you to lead our strike force to the northern border. Take Ronolf with you as well. Send me to your majesty. Please, let me reclaim my honor. I beg you. I second that, your majesty. Skrimir is perfect for this mission. Ronolf? Very well. Will you look after him, Hawk King? Sure, I can handle him. He's, a, he's easier to keep under control than you are, Lion King. <laughs> he's all yours, then. He's all yours, then. Now, everyone, prepare to leave before daybreak. We're all depending on you. It's hard to separate Kanegas and Scrimia's voice with the whole Patrick Sykes thing. I mean, you know, my impression of it go only goes so far. You know, if I were to have the actual cast here, it'd be so different. Unfortunately, I'm not big enough or noticed enough to do such a thing. Which is where you, the viewers, come in. If you like and subscribe and make sure this gets noticed, the official VAs that I'm referring to might actually make fun of me at some point. I actually asked Nella Lee one time about my imitations and what she sent me I felt was insulting how um, imitations is a, is a terrible start. I think it was like to get into voice acting. I took that as an insult because imitations were all I had. But uh... I just don't know what to make of it, you know? Jill just can't promote just a bit. Not until I get another... 
Master Crown. I'm sure I have one. I do, I have one. That's the one that ZR gave me. Three ten was always interesting for me because I struggled to get a lot of kills. A lot of alibi grass. Might as well get one. Ah, yes, and an early restore staff. If I get Li Fei and Lion to 30, that increases their capacity. Yeah, all the girls are up here, plus Ronald. Alright, let's go. Insect of Benyon, we'll show you the power of the Beast Tribe! Bjork scum, for raising our homes, we'll make you wish you'd never been born! Filthy subhumans, this war ends now! Prepare yourselves! Oh, your army is approaching from the hill to the left! That flag, it's the Crimean army! C Crimea intends to side with the Empire after all! Lucia? What are you doing? Finally, they see the light and are coming to fight with us. Excellent. Took them long enough, I suppose. Oh, took them long enough. I suppose when you have the brain of a gnat, these things take some time to sink in. I am Queen Alincia of Crimea. I have a message for the commanders of both armies. I am here to declare the will of Crimea and its people. Crimea has been ruled under the ideals of peace and equality since the reign of my father, King Ramon. As such, I cannot and will not allow you to spill blood upon our land. Therefore, I demand that both the Lagoos Alliance and the Imperial Army leave Crimea at once. Withdraw our troops, you foolish girl. We will not be ordered about by the proclamations of a peasant like you. Puppet rulers such as yourself should stay inside their pretty castles and play dress up. Benyon's patience has worn out. <sighs> Benyon's patience has worn out. After we finish slaughtering the subhumans, we'll be coming for you in Melior. Commander of the Lagoos Alliance, how do you respond? You have some serious guts, jumping into the middle of a battlefield all by yourself. But your high and mighty beliefs don't change the fact that Benyon must answer for its crimes. Step aside. Very well. I've heard from both commanders. Then... This is Crimea's answer. We will not sway from our ideals. My countrymen stand united. We will not use force, but we are willing to do whatever it takes to end this here and now. What? Have you lost your mind? Huh. <laughs> Ike, I thought you were the craziest Bjork I ever met, but you have some serious competition. Crimea's queen is one tough woman. Your majesty, I like your style. Skrimir, I can't let such a pretty woman down. Let's get out of here. Of course. The Beast Tribe will not use our claws against unarmed Bjork. Soldiers, 
back to the forest. Thank you, King Taban. This is only temporary. The war between the Laguza lines and Banyan isn't finished yet. Yes, I understand that. Even so, I want you all to know where Crimea stands in this. Hey, you and I should get together and chat sometime. I'll be seeing you again soon. General Zelgius, what are your orders? Shall we launch an attack? No, we will withdraw. Are you certain, General? Could you cast aside your weapon while surrounded by armed soldiers? I don't know, sir. No, probably not. Queen Alincia has done something that even I would be hard-pressed to do. For that, we must show our respect. Stop this instant! Wait! Where do you think you're going? Attack those mangy beasts! Please forgive my audacity. However, we are withdrawing. Every battle ebbs and flows. To go against these tides is unwise. Please understand, Senator. You self-righteous fool. You'll understand something else once we're through this battle. I don't want to go back yet. Do we have time to talk to Alincia? It has been a long time since we last saw Queen Alincia. We should at least say hello. Sure, sounds great to me. There's probably not much time for small talk, but we'll see. Soldiers, kill the Queen of Crimea. That girl is a traitor to Benyon. Whoa, this isn't good. The Imperial Army is on the move. They're after Queen Alincia. So much for Imperial honor. Grown mercenaries, looks like we have our old job back. Protect Queen Alincia. I knew it. Follow me, my knight. We shall protect Her Majesty. I, I have to see. Kill every living thing that stands in our way. Show them that I... No, the Senate controls this pathetic land. Of course, Sims of Altome. I'll be happy to kill the wench. I have to I have to see if they're armed. They are. They are armed. Steel axe? No. No, 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 no. You did not just. Are you serious? His Brave Lance is right here! I... Wow. I did not expect that at all. Is... Is that how you get a second Brave Lance? I know how you get a second Brave... Um, axe and Sword. But not a second Brave Lance. That's just... Insane for me. Alright. Now that's out of the way. You and you out. I will be taking racing. Biorhythm matters in this chapter a lot. Titania will also be going there because we need the coverage. You're fine. You're not so fine. You're definitely not fine. Long chapter, so... I mean, I'll show a bit of it and then we'll go next time on Radiant Ladies. I think the important thing is that, you know, you get to see who I'm deploying at the time. Alincia! Sir Ike! I'm glad you're safe. That was one crazy move you pulled. It's what I had to do to stop the fighting. However, my efforts have failed. I could not stop them. 
and at least you made your point to the Laguz Alliance. I'm sure those in the Imperial Army you understand as well. I'm sure there are those in the Imperial Army you understand as well. You did the right thing. You're always so kind. Thank you, Sir Ike. Yes. Purge. That purge... We can give to Laura and Micaiah. Check out how I'm gonna get that done. So because Heather doesn't have shade. I gave Mist Shade. Well, I should not. How can I let Ileana and Mia go without me? Like, as a pairing. Oh, no crit. Actually left for Jill. Steel knives. I forgot I had my bundy here. Um, steel knives. Steel daggers, I meant. Because, of course, one of them is on the brink of breaking, and then I just get a fresh one right there and there. Considering doing another Path of Radiance run, specifically just with the guys. I've been trying to get a, pra a practice run going, but Soren's always dying. Now, about, you know, my embarrassment when I said live rent free early on I'd earlier on I'd love to I'd like to collaborate on that so because I'm a follower of the NRL as noted up here right there um, there's a lot of times where you see comments that are like oh this player is always living in your head rent free so somehow that came to mind and that's why I said rent free when I did. Pretty embarrassing, but strength and skill. Hey, look at that. Jill is becoming the hyper carry. I always know that she is. I just need Heather to just really go where that um where that purge guy is. Ouch. Is this what MK404 have uh, warned me about? Well, he would, um, I started watching his Radiant Dawn series many years ago. 
And I was like, I was gonna, I'm going to teach you how to get um, a second set of brave weapons. I'm like, oh, oh cool. Can't wait to see it. Markolov's going to get his, himself killed. Yeah, last time in my um, my practice run, I definitely had to save his ass. I had to save his and Kieran's. You ask me, that's pretty damn embarrassing. <laughs> Hey, yeah, next time on Radiant Ladies, um, I will have Purge in hand, and uh, we'll be at the end of the end of the chapter as usual. All oh, right, yeah, cutscene, actual cutscene and dialogue as well, but. General Zelgius, Samsa Valtome is about to run down the Queen of Crimea. A useless parasite, attacking an unarmed woman. It's beneath even him. The Crimean army and a part of the Laguz Alliance have joined battle in order to rescue the Queen. They are fighting Senator Valtome. Shall we assist the Senator? Prepare to leave. We are not fighting. But General, that would mean that we abandoned Duke Colbert's force. I will take all responsibility for this. Make my command clear to all the men. I will not accept more units joining this fight. And yet, more units join the fight. From around, down here. And I don't know, I don't remember if any of you from up there, but definitely from down here. Well, I mean, it doesn't really matter. Um, if I bliss race, he's not getting used. The times that he did get involved in battle, it was always in direct combat. You always need healers on two sides of the field. Yes, I have Ileana, which makes him obsolete now. But still, even if it's like that, you still want to have as much as as much healing as you can. Just no fighting power. Just not using guys in fights. Except if their names are Ike and Soth. Though that has proven wrong in previous apps. So, that's already come back to haunt me. Because like, I cracked under pressure. Yeah, better watch out for all those horse units. Actually, no, I've got conversations. this doing it just in case I make a mistake and he ends up in uh, in indirect combat and if he is he'll probably die anyway because he's so slow so I'm just calling it how it is uh, short spear do you kill of course you don't not even with support thanks Neff this is what happens when you have okay strength equal to I was gonna say less strength than even Jill does but it's true, before you promoted, you did have less strength than Jill, what, what Jill does have now. You got guaranteed strength. And you, you got a set level.
Ow. Yeah, while I have Jill here... Just uh, need to make sure to get this garbage out of here. I did say next time on Laser Radiance, and I haven't gone that next time on Laser Radiant Ladies. Oh, I've done it again. I do it at the intro, and then I redo it, and then I just. Oh, you're already a magic tank. What am I? Yeah, yeah, what am I worrying about? All right, next time on Radiant Ladies, we've set up to get the purge. And now we're all good. See you at the end of the chapter. Don't forget to subscribe and follow the Twitch. And no be notified.